Uh, here we are with Cleveland Taylor, Corn's new first team manager. Firstly, Cleveland, congratulations on your appointment. Obviously, the big uh, question, obviously, um, what do you want to achieve with Corn this season? Um, it, it would be easy for me to say promotion and for us to be at the top of the table, um, but what I do want, definitely want to achieve with Corn is, is to have a team that play a brand of football that the community and everybody associated with Corn can be proud of. And if we can get that, I'm quite confident that we'll be at the right end of the table. In, the strength in our team is the team spirit and and what we've got going for us. I mean, see Stephen Hart's leading scorer in the league. He got 50 last year, the 50 the year before, and he's run on the way to 50 this year. We consider ourselves to be a, a very uh, warm environment and, you know, it's a village football club in its core and trying to keep that village community ethos. Atmosphere is brilliant. I mean, you come down here and you have, you know, you have your you have a bit of banter and just a bit of a laugh and a joke and gets buzzing, you know, bit, you know go out down and play the music before the games and yeah, it's really good, really good. And one of the big things that we'll be doing is setting up Corn Football Academy in September, which I'm really proud to be leading on. Oh, it's brilliant, brilliant. And also since Cleveland's joined, uh, he's brought a fresh, fresh, fresh air. You know, his, the way he's approached to everything, you know, the way he even joins in with the youth. Yeah. You know, he's got time for everyone. Cleveland and Neil um, have both brought this element of professionalism into the club, you know, with Cleveland's history of being at um, some high quality sides. He's really brought that element of professionalism, a bit of desire and um, certainly a lot of passion that comes with him and you can tell the guy's serious about his football. I think um, myself and Neil, um, the beauty of it is that we share the same vision. Um, a lot of the things that we talk about we, yeah. we agree on, um, but it's, it's, it's in a way that we've, we've got the same vision and, and that's not just for the, the starting 11 and the first team, that's for the whole club um, and how we can use our, some people say expertise, but yeah, <laughs> expertise yeah. Um, in different fields to actually move this club forward in a way that it should be and hopefully it will be a recognised club in Leicester. I think the chairman, to be honest, he's, he's so passionate about the club, he's put so much of his own money into it, time into it, um, you know, you, you show me another club like this at our level, and there isn't one, you know, he, he is so passionate about it, he's done so much for this club, and, and I think that now goes through us all, we all feel the same. Chairman, who has dedicated a, a huge majority of his life and time to this football club. He loves Corn, he loves the village, he loves being part of it. And I think that he has done this village and this football club a massive service. Well we've got a small we've got a small committee, a small working committee, and we're all friends and we all get on. See them two do the kitchen and the bar. They run the club really. And I know that Cleveland certainly and you we really appreciate the volunteers that we've got, as does Stuart as our club chairman and myself. The only, the only way I see the club going at the moment is, is up, to be fair, and the people that you've that are already at the club who do so much behind the scenes, they're just class. Yeah. I mean, it's the volunteers are vital. I mean, you, you can't really, as a club like this, you can't really afford to, to, to pay people, particularly, to, to do the job, the everyday jobs.
fans that can have a huge input and, and start yeah. to see a team that they can be proud of. I think we've, we've, we've got a good core group of fans. Yeah. Who, okay, it's not it's not it's not thousands, but it's it's hundreds who who will come in and they they appreciate what's going on. Yeah. And I think they can tell a difference around the place. Yeah. Um, I think for the next stage of the club, um, one, one thing I know with me and myself and Neil is is to actually have a, a first team that the community can be proud of. Um, and I've yeah. said that from day one, but not just be proud of in, in a way of results, in a way of um, a style of play, a brand of football that they can connect to, that people want to come and pay and watch. Um, and and as, as a ground like this, um, that's what it should be delivered and put on. Um, I think it's gone pretty well. Um, it's 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 been a quick change, I would say. Um, yes, we've had COVID in, in amongst that, but um, from the first day I came in um, to getting Neil on board, um, a lot's changed in a short space of time. Hundred <laughs> percent. From what I've heard about Paul previously yeah. to now is a big difference. Um, I think that's great to you. What you've done, who you brought in. <laughs> I'll, I'll do it, a bit. This is my best signing. Uh, best signing. <laughs> and, um, and yeah, but the lads we've got on board, they've bought into everything. They they want the club to go the same direction. Everyone seems to be pulling the same direction. And I think just the club as a whole, it's it's looking like we. Okay, it's a long way off yet, but it's looking like where we want to get it to. Um, we want to get this first team up as high as we possibly can, uh, but while bringing through good young, homegrown talents and good lads who uh, who can kick on into the first team. I uh, know, just obviously, it's 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 a long journey. There's going to be more ups. There's going to be more downs. Um, be patient with us. Um, um, we are working as hard as we can, and we're working the boys as hard as we can um, to hopefully get us to a position where the club are consistently at the right end of tables and um, playing the style of football that everyone can be proud of.